Melodyne Studio, correct pitch and quantize time macros. A macro is a processing function that can perform a series of commands. This video will demonstrate what these two macros, both correct pitch and quantize time, do and how you can begin utilizing them. Let's take a look. Both the correct pitch and quantize time macros are editing applications within Melodyne Studio. So to first access them, simply come up to the edit option in our menu toolbar. And here at the very bottom, we have correct pitch and quantize time. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at both of these applications and how they can begin working for you. Let's first take a look at our correct pitch macro. Now for demonstration purposes, I imported a drum loop, bass guitar, and a demo vocal clip. I'll solo that vocal clip and let's take a listen first. The sun is shining, I feel alive. Now let's say we wanted to begin editing the pitch of this vocal clip, but we wanted to use the correct pitch macro. Well, one way we can do that is to double click in the track box like this and open this vocal take in Melodyne's own unique editor window. Let's make it fit. Okay, I'll come up here to our upper left corner and select the edit pitch tool. Now I'm gonna come up to the menu and select edit correct pitch. And our correct pitch dialog box opens right here. Now we can see by looking at our audio that the blue outlines tell us if these notes are sharp or flat. If they're below center pitch, they're flat. If they're above center pitch, they're a little sharp. Now what the correct pitch macro can do is it can globally affect the entire performance or just selected area relating to its pitch. I'll take this slider right here at the very top, select it, and watch as I drag the percentage amount to, let's say, 50, and let go. Watch how the audio pops into pitch 50% better. Now I'll bring it up to 100% and let go, and there it is, popped into perfect pitch. Let's listen to it before. The sun is shining, I feel alive. And let's bring it up to 100. The sun is shining, I feel alive. We also have another option here with which to uh, manipulate our pitch with, and that's called the correct pitch drift. It's different than pitch modulation or vibrato, which can sound really musical and pleasing. Pitch drift controls how far off you're wavering from the center pitch, which can sound pretty bad if you go too far. And it works just the same method. I can select right here and drag our pitch drift tool accordingly. I'll bring it up to 50 again and let go. And you'll see very, very subtly that the pitch line running through each blob adjusts accordingly. I'll bring it up to 100 and let go, and there it is. Let's try zero again, and here is 100. There. So now we've corrected the pitch drift to 100 and the pitch center to 100. Let's take a listen again. The sun is shining, I feel alive. Not bad. Here's before. I'll take everything back down to zero and press play. The sun is shining. I feel alive. And let's bring everything back to 100% correction. And you'll definitely hear the difference. The sun is shining. I feel alive. There. This is a great way with which to take a pretty good vocal take and make it even better. Uh, for example, this works great in some genres that are very musical like jazz. 
And you can take a great performance and just tweak the notes in as, or out as much as you want. You can be as creative as you like with these tools. This is the correct pitch macro. Next, we'll take a look at the quantized time macro. The quantized time macro works pretty much the same way the correct pitch macro does, except it's adjusting the timing of a performance and not the pitch. So in this demo, I've imported a drum loop here in track one and a bass guitar loop here in track two. Let's take a listen. I can hear that the bass guitar could use a little tightening up bit. So we'll select that track. I'll come up to edit option in our toolbar and choose quantize time. And this dialog box opens. Now, like the correct pitch macro previously, we have options. But in this quantize time box, our options are related to timing of the performance. So you can select our groove reference. We can either keep it to our bars and beats from our grid, or one of my favorite features is you can actually reference the timing against any other audio recorded on another track. For example, our drum loop. So we can quantize our bass guitar timing to our drum loop timing. I'll select the slider button and as I increase the intensity and let go, let's say at 50% again, watch how the notes nudge themselves into place better. Did you see that? I'll bring it up to 100 now and let go. And there. So here's at 0%. And here is at 100%. Let's listen to a before and after. Here's 0 Now I'll bring it to 100%. There is a difference. Now you can make this as extreme as you want or as precise as you want. Let's try to make it a little bit more extreme. How about 1 8 triplets? <laughs> I think you see what I mean. Let's bring it back to our drum loop reference at quarter. And we're good to go. And to apply our changes, just simply hit OK. There we have it. Now we have our drum loop, our bass guitar timed and quantized to our drum loop beats, and our vocal clip that we tuned using our correct pitch macro. I suggest to really begin understanding how to use these is to open it up and dig right in. It's the best way to really understand how these tools can be made to work for you, which is how I believe Melodyne Studio always works best. My name's Carlo Libertini. Thanks for watching.